Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. This is your Animal Ally message. And I'm excited about this one because it seems like the intensity of them showing up in my lives is getting more and more powerful. So, so um, let me show you who our Animal Ally message is this week. It is... The Penguin, and as you can see, Penguin from the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck from Burnett King is the Three of Cups, and the Three of Cups is ruled by the Zodiac sign Cancer, but also it has a little bit of the planet of Mercury in it too, so, so you're going to get some cool keywords of celebration, soul group, you know, a time to focus, and traditionally the Three of Cups has been all about celebration with your friends, with family, it's usually three women holding cups up, dancing around. Um, when we consider Mercury being part of the influence as well, then it's going to carry some importance of communications and maybe communicating about your party, about your celebration. Don't forget to send the invitations out. Ask the right people. Maybe ask, not ask some people because <laughs> you want to have a good celebration. Maybe you're setting some boundaries. Some cool, interesting facts about penguins is they do mate for life um, and they're actually birds but they don't fly. And I thought that was kind of neat because they tend to be very unique in their own way. So consider your own uniqueness if Penguin shows up in your life. And I'll talk about how in just a moment. Um, and then also just consider the energy of that Three of Cups. And um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of flabbergasted because they showed up again. So I typically will write this article after I post my stuff on Saturday mornings. And um, I wrote the, the blog and the vlog and everything, and I pulled the penguin. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And not even thinking that, you know, the evening I'm going to be going to a, par a birthday party, which was a celebration. So as I'm sitting there, you know, it was, it was um, some good friends. And one, one of my main good friends was, um, it was his birthday. And they were having a conversation with another one, his trainer person, and they were talking about somebody at the gym, and they, they called him Penguin. I thought, you know, I thought, okay, Penguin. I thought to myself, oh, that's the card this week. And they said again, Penguin. And I even opened up my phone, and I said, oh, look, you know, Penguin. I have a Penguin card here. Not connecting it. Not, like, fully connecting it. Uh, and then they started unwrapping gifts, and the gift wrap, three gift wrap presents, had penguins on them. So, you know, Sunday morning, the next morning, I'm walking around my lake getting exercise. And, uh, you know, and I said to I said to spirit, you know, I said, you know, you have permission to thump me on the head to make it loud and clear. And they're kind of like, um, we, ha we we showed you penguin rapping like three times and they said it. You even pulled your own phone out and showed them you were using penguin. So it couldn't get much more clear than that. So because um, bear showed up last week as, as I did these. So as these show up in your life, um, I'm purposefully not putting dates on these because I hope that when you're watching this, whatever year, decade it may be, penguins is, penguin is showing up in your life somehow. So if penguin shows up as a spirit animal, that's usually that quick drive-by message. So if they do, it may be a time to focus on your environment and how you can reduce, reuse, recycle. So literally think about our environment, Mother Earth, Planet Earth. And this could be a really good time to be taking care of, you know, your surroundings as a priority for right now. If penguins have been kind of a totem animal, like around in your life for a long time since you were a kid or something, or or you start noticing they're around constantly or you're drawn to them, you collect them, then this could be a totem animal message reminding you of your sweetness, of your kindness, you know, that has been your very essence since you were a child. So really avoid letting the world make you tough, cold, callous, but really try to stay in that place of sweetness. And then if you need penguin as a power, power animal or they're showing up saying, hey, use our energy, you know, this could be where you need to find some middle ground, some fairness for all, you know, so kind of, you know, step back, see what's going on, step into your penguin power, um, and they can certainly help, you know, things be fair for everybody that's involved. So, um, yeah, in the notes below, you can find an article that kind of d details a little bit more about how I work um, with um, the power, spirit, and totem animals, which it really, I learned it from Bernadette King, and it so resonated with me, like, very clearly. Um, so that's, that's how I've just stuck working. And also, I put the link for Bernadette's deck and her website, so check that out as well. So um, thanks for watching. 
retweet and post and subscribe and let me know if penguin shows up in your life and how it did and how you're using penguin um or if three of cups shows up i've had somebody say like oh it wasn't you know it wasn't bear but the queen of pinnacles showed up so i love to know um i do try to respond wherever you're watching this video um i will try to respond if i don't tag me and then i will because i love to hear about it all right thank you so much namaste i hope penguin finds you and assists you on your journey as an ally bye-bye <laughs>